Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. The Champions League is back. Season 2024-2025 is here. And this new format got 36 teams. Now we're going to start what is called the league phase. Just like the league, but you don't play home and away with the same team. You're going to play some games at home, some games away. And I have to admit it, it's still confusing and complicated even for me to understand. But before we go any further, you know what to do. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, share. Help your brother out only one click away and you all set. And also remember, we're going to be live for certain games on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So stay tuned and you won't be disappointed. Here we go. Let me remind you the teams that are qualified for this 2024-2025 Champions League. 36 teams, like I said, very sad not to see Chelsea, but it looks like they are the only big teams in the last 10 years that are not even in this new format of the Champions League. We have Arsenal, Aston Villa, Atlanta, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Benfica, Bologna, Brest, Celtic, Club Bruges, Red Star, Borussia Dortmund, Feyenoord, Girona, Dinamo, Inter, Juventus, Leipzig, Leverkusen, Lille, Liverpool, Manchester City, Milan, Monaco, PSG, PSV, Real Madrid, Salzburg, Shakhtar, Slovan, Sparta, Praha, Sporting, Stern, Graz, Stuttgart, and Young Boys. Also, I didn't mention Manchester United are not in the Champions League. So Chelsea and Manchester United need to improve because next season, their fans are going to be mad if they don't qualify for the Champions League. Fight and win! Let's go very quickly to give you my predictions for the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday games. Wow, everything is really different because we are not used to watching the Champions League on Thursdays. Thursdays were for Europa League or the Conference League. Now everything is changing. I don't know how good or bad this new format of the Champions League is going to be, but let's wait and see if people are going to be interested more on watching the Champions League now? Probably yes, because from the get-go, you got big, big teams playing against each other. So basically, the Super League that UEFA refused is exactly the same that they created in their own terms. So the Super League was bad just because UEFA didn't create it. But now UEFA created exactly the same thing. Everything is good. Let's start by Tuesday, September the 17th. Juventus against PSV. It's going to be an early one. 12.45 Eastern time if you are in the US. Very quick one because we have so many games to cover. So I will go really fast. Juventus to win 2-1. Young boys against Aston Villa. I think Aston Villa are going to win this game. And remember, Aston Villa are Champions League winners. Back in the day, but today's kid, they don't even know if Aston Villa used to be champions of Europe. I think Villa to win 2-0 away. Bayern Munich against Dynamo. 
Vincent company is gonna try to win this game at any cost at home. This is his first game as a coach in the Champions League with Bayern Munich. Munich 3, Dynamo 0. AC Milan against Liverpool. What a game that is going to be. Wow. This game is going to be a 2-2 draw. Real Madrid against Stuttgart. Madrid with Mbappe, Bellingham, Vinicius Junior, Rodrigo. I don't see any, any kind of result here. Real Madrid 3, Stuttgart 1. Sporting against Lille. A very, very tough game. But I see Sporting from Portugal winning this game by 2-1. Moving on. Let's now talk about the games on Wednesday, September the 18th. 2024 Bologna against Shakhtar Bologna are very weak at the moment because they sold two of their best players Xerxes and also Calafiori so I think Shakhtar could just sneak it 2-1 Sparta against Salzburg Salzburg are really used to this competition the Champions League they're playing away. It's not easy to play at Sparta. So I think it's going to be a 2-2 draw. Club Bruges against Dortmund. Dortmund are going to win this, this game away. They have they have more power. And they are... Uh, the, let's, let's call them the vice champions of Europe. Because they got to the final last season. They lost against Real Madrid, remember that? So, I think Dortmund to win this game 2-0. Moving on. Celtic against Bratislava. I think Celtic are going to be too strong at home and win it 2-0. Manchester City against inter this reminds me of the final two years ago city beat them one nil in the final rodri remember that so city playing home Haaland is on fire at the moment inter are very good but i think manchester city are gonna be too good for them city three inter one psg against girona PSG, new formula, new team. No Mbappe, no Messi, no Neymar, no big, big names, bling, bling. I think they are more humble and low-key at the moment. I think PSG to do it 3-1 at the Parc de Prince. Now, let's move on and talk about the games on Thursday, September the 19th, 2024. Okay, Red Star against Benfica. It's going to be a 2-2 draw. Benfica are a very good team, but Red Star also a very, very good team. 2-2 draw. Feyenoord against Leverkusen. Hmm, another one. Alonso need to prove himself in the Premier, in the Premier League or in the Champions League after taking the world by storm. He won... The Bundesliga and also got in the final of Europa League. Unfortunately, they didn't win it. I think this one is going to be 2-1 to Leverkusen. Atalanta against Arsenal. Arsenal are on fire at the moment. Atalanta are Europa League champions of last season. Remember that? It's going to be a tough, tough game. But I see the Gunners getting this result 2-1 away against Atalanta Atletico Madrid against Leipzig 
I like Atletico. The recruitment were very good with Conor Gallagher and Julian Alvarez and some other key players that they bought. I think Atletico are going to be very strong and beat Leipzig 2 nil. Monaco against Barcelona. Hmm. Barcelona with Yamal. All the kids are doing very good at the moment. I think they haven't lost any game in the league. Barcelona, I'm talking about here. Hansi Flick is getting the best out of the kids. So I think they are going to win away 2-1 in Monaco. Brest against, let's call, Stone Grass. So this one, I'm going for sentiment because like I said, this is like almost my local team. So it's going to be Brest 2, Stern Grass 1. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's about it. So this is it, people. So all the results, Thursday, Wednesday, and Tuesday. Get in the comment section down below. Let me know. What do you think about the Champions League new formula? Who's going to win the Champions League this season? And let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to join us on one of the channels. The link is going to be in the description down below for live stream call-in show. You click on the link, you call us, and you give your opinion. God bless, and I will see you next time.